In this video, we'll learn to use coordinates in 2D, positive and negative, to specify the position of points. What I have in front of me is a plane. This is what we call a plane. Now, what this resembles is number lines or thermometers, where you start with positives and they go down to negatives. And same thing across here. What we call this horizontal line is the x-axis. And what we call this vertical line is the y-axis. So this also resembles the graphs that you've been using when uh, showing data or representing data in it, you normally use this part of the graph where you'd have sometimes time at the bottom and you'd have the numbers going up. So what this is, is an extension of that with negative numbers as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot some points. I want to plot a point that is one comma one. What does that mean? So the X comes first. So first of all, we decide horizontally where we'd go, where we'd stop. Shall I stop at zero, one, two, minus one, minus two, minus six, where do I stop? So that's the first thing I do. And the first number within the brackets tells me that. Stop at one. So there we go, I need to stop here. Then do I stay here or do I go up or do I go down? So where do I stop next? That this time vertically. And that's what the second number tells me. It says one. So I'm going to be within this line, but do I go to one or minus one? That's saying just one, positive one. So I need to go there. As you can see, the X is equal to one and the Y is equal to one, just like this is saying. So this is what we're going to call point A. So let's label that. Now let's have a look at another point. Let's make or plot point B at five comma three. So again, Horizontally first, we start at five, and then that means we're going up three. So we're going to this point, y being equal to three. So this is point B. Let's have a point C, which I will put down as four minus two so four horizontally i'll stop at four but i'll go down to i'll go to minus two yeah so four minus two so this is point c there is minus two then let's have a point d at minus four three so there is four, but we need to go to minus four and then three. So we're going up to three. So this is point D. And point E at minus five, comma, minus two. So we're going to minus five and then minus two. So this is point E. If I give you a point, let's say a point G will be here. What are the coordinates of that point? Find the coordinates. 
So again, there is a point we'll start with the horizontal line first, the x-axis. So where are we stopping? That's minus 3. And then going up to 2. So that's the y-axis. Minus 3, 2. Let's have a look at this point here. What are the coordinates of that point? So x-axis, that's minus 2, and y is minus 3. So minus 2, minus, comma, minus 3. And one more. Let's have a look at this point here. So that's 2 minus 4, so 2 comma minus 4. So this is how you use coordinates in 2D, positive and negative, to specify the position of points.